Hey guys, my name is Ryan, and we're back again with another Spirit Island video. We're continuing our Nature Incarnate series. We are now up to Towering Roots of the Jungle. So naturally, we're playing as green. Random, 7 or 8 difficulty. Let's see what we get. We get Habsburg. Okay. Um... Great, so we start in the high of all three terrains that isn't sands, and our Incarna starts in the high jungle, uh, kicks to low jungle if there's blight here. Let's take a look at what our cards do. So uh, first, this card was shown during the campaign, uh, Blooming of the Rocks and Trees, zero cost, it's got a bunch of elements, and it adds uh, vitality or wilds, and if we threshold, we can get both. Uh, so uh, Vitality is the new token that comes in this set. And basically what it says is if you would add Blight, you can sacrifice a Vitality and you don't add one Blight. But this only works if there is not a Blight already. So if we had a Vitality here in this Blighted land, the Vitality would just do nothing. We would need to find a way to remove this Blight. Okay, so you'll notice in our kit we don't have a way to remove Blight. We can only prevent Blight with this Vitality. So that was something that we should consider drafting into if this game goes sideways. Uh, next card. Oh my gosh. Come on, game. Uh, Boon of Resilient Power. Target Spirit may add a Destroyed Presence to one of your lands. And if you target yourself, gain a major power. Otherwise, Target Spirit gains a power card. So in solo, we can only use this to gain a major um, and so if we're not even looking to go into majors, we only start with three cards in our hand. So just because of that, I'm probably going to go majors this game. Anyways, uh, entwine the fates of all in one of target spirits lands, defend to per presence from all spirits. So this is a pretty good size defend card. And then, uh, radiant and hollowed grove Two fear if invaders are present or adjacent. Uh, in both the target land and one adjacent land, you can remove an invader with health less than or equal to the terror level. And this has to target our Incarna. So our Incarna, and at one range, we get to remove something. Uh, well, terror level one means an explorer, terror level two means explorer or town, and then terror level three means anything. Okay, let's, uh, let's get into it. We're starting off in the jungles. Okay, so we know that a Ravage is coming in the jungles. We know that we're probably going to want to add a Vitality there to protect ourselves. Um, so, yeah, both of our growth options give us a power card. Both of them let us add a Presence. The difference is that this one adds a Vitality. This one gives us an Energy and lets us move our Incarna. But we don't have to move the Incarna. So, in my mind, we're going to be taking this Growth 3 a lot. <clears throat> unless if we need the Vitality. And since we have jungles coming up next, uh, I'm choosing this option to pick up that vitality. And what do we have? What elements do we care about? Uh, we need, it looks like plant is our number one, but very close behind is sun, since every innate requires both sun and plant. It's just that it takes slightly more plant than sun. And then it's earth and moon is very little of each. We do get an earth here, but there is no moon on our tracks. So... We do have three moons in our starting hand. So I would say our priorities would be plant, and then sun, and then moon, and then last, earth. And so strictly based off of elements, I'm looking at Sky's Herald. Um, this doesn't have the plant, but it has the other three. That's a good defend card, but we already have a defend card. So this is defend four if there's a sacred site, but this is also defend, f or not this one. Um, this one is also defend four in a sacred site, plus it could be more. So it doesn't give us anything we don't have. This lets us push Blight around, which means that we can set up Vitality better. And this one removes Blight, but this has slightly better elements, so uh, we're going to stick with that. Okay, and we get our Vitality. <clears throat> and we have to add a Presence at range one. On our first turn, what are we going to be doing? Maybe we'll use this and add a wild somewhere so we can try and 
close something else. So that's a sacred site, right? Because we got a presence and a presence. So we can add a wild to one of these two lands. So I'm going to add another presence up here to give us the option of wild, of um, locking out these uh, wetlands as well. And we're probably going to go majors just because I want to actually like use this boon of resilient power. Okay, and then that's a disease and a build. Nothing to gather here, and this gathers this way. Okay, and we're exploring the sands. Cool. Uh, so, I'm thinking we can add a wilds over here. Maybe I add a wilds here because then it doesn't explore, it doesn't build, but then it gathers a town in and then we can just defend it and then use the fact that it's already blighted. Yeah, that's what I think we'll do. Okay, and then uh, sacred site, we can gather a Dahan. Is that something that we want to do? Yes. Um, oh, sorry, important rule uh, with tower and roots. If we take a look at the lower left corner with the Incarna rules, your powers get plus one range if the Incarna is the origin land. So with our left innate, it's a range zero ability. But if we're using the Incarna as the source, it now becomes a range one ability. So uh, range one, okay, I can target this land and I can gather a Dahan in so that way it doesn't die to the Ravage. Okay. Um, cool. So we're gonna eat a Blight here. We're going to Vitality this. We might just eat both Blight here, but I think I'd like to put some presents so I can choose to defend in the 7. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to do the Grow 3, so we'll gain an Energy, gain a Power Card. Ooh, being able to deny a build, right? We could like pull this guy out, put one present here, and then defend it for 2. Let it gather this way, and we can try and isolate out this back side. That looks very exciting to me. Um, is that better than defending, though? This is completely off element and it costs energy. I'm going to try this Lure of the Unknown play. Uh, so we're going to Lure, and I'm setting myself up for a major, so maybe we should just go for that now by doing this. Um, but it gives us no sun. Oh, sorry, that's the defend. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. I keep on grabbing the wrong card. So if we go this way, we do get both of our innates. So I think that this is a good time for us to pull a major. Okay, let's pull this guy out. Everything else is slow. Uh, whoa, new new event. Um, okay, one fear per power card in play that generates fear in its instructions, not by destruction. Okay, uh, that is none. Okay, um, we're not getting the two or three, but it says remove one health worth of invaders per power card in play that generates fear. This is really interesting because there's uh, some fear spirits like shadows that get a lot of fear through their power cards and not necessarily through their innates or special rules. And this is the type of event that strictly benefits them. So this is very interesting, I like this one. Anyways, uh, one damage in a land with Badlands or Beast. Okay, no Badlands and that doesn't do anything, okay. One damage to the Han as well, okay. On each board with uh, Explorer, or sorry, Town City and uh, either five or fewer or three or fewer to Han, we have six so nothing qualifies. Okay, Ravage, eat the Vitality, build, and um, then we can gather, well, we have to gather here first, so we'll gather here and here. I want to keep as many invaders here on my Incarna as possible because I can always create a Vitality and prevent any Blight from being added, so it's a very safe place to be in. And then we get Sands again. Okay, so Sands. And with only two Blight, we have to add two more towns to the board. So I'll go, uh, has to be land with no town, no Blight. 
So we'll go like this, planning on just gathering in the same exact way again. All right, do we want to gather it a Han? I'm not sure we, uh, yes we do. All right, we want to gather this to Han so it'll kill everything, prevent any builds. And then at um, this right innate has to target the Incarna. The extra range doesn't do anything. Um, and so it's fear and then we can remove an explore or a town. So it's kind of like destroy a town. And then last, we will boon a resilient power, target ourselves, gain a major. What do we have? Pyroclastic flow. Let's see, we don't really have anything that's on element, meaning we don't have anything that matches our innate super close. The closest is flocking red talons that it has plant at all, but air and animal is not something that we're particularly into. This pyroclastic flow is interesting. Maybe land thrashes, but we're pretty good at preventing blight from happening. Um, hmm. Pyroclastic flow is cheaper. I think I'll pick up this and then we'll forget the boon of resilient power itself. Okay, time passes. So this next turn, we know we're going to be defending. Um, it's ravaging for three, so defend two will solve it. Maybe we'll just throw another presence in there for kicks. We can remove an explorer from an adjacent land. Let's see, what do we need for elements? We need to play a sun, so we, we want to play one of these two cards. Or we could just take this sun here. Um, So let's say, let's say we do this and this, what does that get us? That takes three to get the second tier, okay. So we're not gonna get the second tier of either. So that sun doesn't give us any marginal benefit. So if we're gonna be pushing for majors, maybe we should just go top track here. That's just kind of like a random two fear value play. Sure. I think we'll do this. Okay, two fear, and we get to remove one from the tree and one from adjacent to the tree. And then we can defend two per presence and target land. Coastal land push, um, or sorry, this is stage two. Uh, this has three invaders, which is the most, so we can go Push, push, push. Okay, that solves itself pretty well. Each beast generates a fear if invaders are present. And yep, there we go. Push two to Han from a land with blight to a land without blight. Okay, we can go this way and maybe we set up for a defense here next turn. Uh, from a land with two or more to Han. Well, we're planning on killing the town, so let's just remove the explorer. Then we ravage, it'll just kill. Nothing builds. Then we can go gather, gather. Exploring the wetlands. With escalation, we still have to add two more. Um, no blight, no town, so we have to go here. That's our only choice. This is looking pretty dangerous all of a sudden. Um, okay, what do we got for the slows? Gather a Dahan, an explorer, and remove a building. So the fear remove a building is easy. Uh, and then we can gather an explorer and a Dahan. Adjacent to this, or like at a sacred site. So do we do this? Gather an explorer, Dahan. We don't want to have isolated to Han because of cultural assimilation. Sure. Okay, and if we're going to do that play, then we're probably looking to defend again. Or maybe I move my Incarna 
to this one of these spots. This one has better adjacencies. Um, yeah, so I think we're gonna go for this one here. So it's pyroclastic flow. I maybe I'm just gonna ditch it. So we're going to add a presence, go here, replace our presence with the Incarna, and then gain an energy. Then we're gonna gain a power card. Um, okay. So this will build a city here. So do we just manifest incarnation? We get eight energy for the turn. It sounds really strong and then maybe we just pitch it again. Yeah, I think we do this and we can use this. Maybe we just forget the pyroclastic flow. Maybe it's not that good. Okay, and then Sky's Herald, we just sacrificed a presence. Now we get to bring it right back. So we can bring our destroyed presence back. We will um, put it here. Maybe we get a fear card that, or something that's like, you know, presence gives a benefit. If not, we'll get it back later. Um, or do we go here? Because that's gonna build and then ravage and there'll be an extra town which will kill our yeah, so we can, that present just there to die. Okay. Uh, Healthy Island matches all lands and explore, or ignore the escalation, okay. Uh, disease, we have none. And then we reclaim the power card, we forgot. Boom, that's nice. That's real good for us. Okay, we're gonna ravage. So there, kills the Han, fights back. Here, uh, kills a Dahan. We flip. Uh, I'll execute that. Because I kills a Dahan. It comes back for six damage. So, do I put my two cities in this land and let them both just die? Because that'll die. Yeah, I like that play. So, we go city, city. Um, and then we add a Dahan to a land with Dahan. So, we can go right there. And we can add a presence to a land with presence. Um, so if we take this plant here that unlocks some innates, that's nice. And it takes a sacred site to use these innates. So I'm going to add one more here because I'm expecting to lose one. Uh, cool. That's actually really good for us. And then the counterattack happens. Nice, nice, nice. And then we build city, city. Oh, maybe because there's nothing gathering into this one, right? We gather here, and then this is where we use it, and then we put our um, our uh, vitality right here. Yeah, that's the play. Okay, this explores everything without buildings, ignoring escalation. So, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Cool. Yet yeah, manifest incarnation six fear. And then plus one for each building and presence. Remove, boom, 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 and then ravage. Very cool. Very, very cool. Time passes. That's a great play. Now we're going to add a vitality here so that we don't need to worry about anything. Now we just need to find a way to deal with these lands. Okay, let's, since I since we need to add a Vitality, I can't reclaim here. So I'm just gonna gain a Major and forget something down here. Considering like everything has stuff in it, probably Lure of the Unknown. And, ooh, Terrifying Nightmares. Because that's gonna build two towns, gather nothing. Then we can Terrifying Nightmares everything out. So that's exciting. <laughs> sea Monsters would do four damage there, which is insufficient. Uh, this has every single one of our elements. Um, oh man. So if I play this, Twisted Flowers is this for elements. So that gives us lots of innates. And 
We are two elements short of being able to threshold it. But it does it removes two invaders this turn. That feels pretty good considering everything else that we're getting. I think we go here. Okay, we'll do that. Gain. We get a vitality right there. And we get the forget a card. Uh, looking at Lur, well, now Lur has perfect elements with Twisted Flowers, so maybe not. Sky's Herald. This does get our Destroyed Presence back, so maybe Sky's Herald is the one to get rid of. Or probably Manifest Incarnation. Because you can only get cities in the coast. Okay, yeah, I think we got our value out of that card. So we'll go here. So now everywhere on the board is adjacent to a sacred site. Well, this one, I guess with a plus one range, everything is targetable by uh, Twisted Flowers. We have nothing fast. Vent. Um, we are Terra level two. Ravaging a land with the Han. Okay, that does not have an effect. Push things from a land with Beast. Does not have an effect. Two fear per uh, land with the Han and city does nothing. Great event. Uh, okay, cool. Another new one. So pushes things from lands not matching a build card. Oh, and then terror level three removes. I was trying to see the difference between two and three. But so we push two, uh, three things from a land not matching a build card. Okay. Maybe we push these guys here. I don't know. I don't think we can get a ton of value out of that. Two strife and a single land not matching a Ravage card. Okay, so we can protect ourselves here. One damage per Dahan. So I guess we can go here. Not a lot of choices. And then here, defend to and isolate some lands. Uh, I guess it doesn't really do anything. If we isolate here, then it won't gather a town. And then it's terror level 2, so we can remove the town fast. So that's something. Okay, Ravage, nothing. And then we remove a Vitality. Build in the jungles. Okay, Gather. That's uh, isolated, so nothing gathers. And then we explore the mountains. And for Escalation, we have 4. So we have to add one town. We'll go over here since it's kind of just out of the way of everything. Okay. So we can gather and explore a town and a Dahan. And we can remove uh, two towns. So removing two towns is pretty easy. Boom, boom. And in this land, we can gather an explorer and a town. So this land is now solved. That leaves just this land. And we might just let it go. Uh, let's see, Twisted Flowers. We get four fear. <clears throat> Add a strife and then remove two invaders. So actually, we can strife a town and then remove two invaders. So that solves this jungle for next turn. Okay. We can add a destroyed presence to one of our lands. We'll go here just for good sacred site coverage everywhere. And then we get to gain a major. Ooh, accelerated rot. Um, that's good. We'd have to move our Incarna before we could kill things in our number one because our special rule says that invaders can't be damaged or destroyed at the Incarna, but that's fine. Um, it's a um, plant sun card. And we're about to pick up the sun on this next turn. So all we'd have to do is, uh, like this card is all three elements. Do we have any others? No, we don't have very much water at all. Maybe we'll hold on to this card for that reason. But that's a pretty big one. Let's just remove a blight. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Let's try it. So then for forgetting purposes, that one's another one that's on element for us. So let's forget 
Um, maybe Sky's Herald? Maybe this defense. Yeah, let's get rid of the defense. Okay. Time passes. Reclaim. Add a presence at range zero. Sacred sites for everyone. And what do we want to play? Um, I'm probably going to wait until uh, we have either a jungle or a wetlands in the build slot before I go for this accelerated rot. So I guess that means we're doing twisted flowers. Since we have enough energy to... With six energy a turn, we can do tons. With this lure, that means we're just a moon short of thresholding. Um, over here, we need a sun plant. Over here, we need just a plant. So sun, plant, moon will threshold everything. Threshold, threshold, threshold. Cool. Um, this one is also sun, plant, moon. And this one, because since we don't have any destroyed presence, there's not a lot of value in Sky's Herald. And this uses up all of our energy. Yeah, and the next turn we could play these. Oh, wait, we only have two card plays. No! Um, then Lure doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it doesn't break anything up. So I guess we do that. Okay, that's fine. Next turn, though, we'll have three card plays, and we can do, like, these two plus... Uh, well, actually, just these two would be a threshold because of the Sun plant. So we can do these two plus anything. Anyways. To Fear. We, uh, in both target and adjacent land, remove an invader with health less than or equal to two. Uh, ooh, how does that interact with durable? Has plus two health. Okay, so this ha is a four health town, which means I cannot remove it. And that's important to know. Uh, does that, is that bad enough to make me not take this card? Um, as far as elements go, we don't even need to play a sun card, so we could just play a lure. Maybe we, maybe we play the Sky's Herald just to gather two to Han into here and kill this town. So we'll do that instead. Net gains us one energy. Uh, we don't have any uh, presence to add, but we can gather two to Han. And there's no blight to push. Okay. Vader phase event. Um. Ooh, what do we got? We have one air. We could forget one, or we could do a discard and pay an energy. Either way, we can get rid of that fear card, which is definitely something we want to do. Um. Considering that's already been. Yeah, I'm just gonna forget this card. That lets us remove a fear card. And the buildings do extra damage, doesn't matter because they are strifed. Uh, add a jungle to, or add a beast to a jungle without blight. And we get a fear because invaders are present. And we get to add a wild, let's add a wild right there. Because if this explores, or it can't explore because of the wild, and then there's no adjacent town, and then, yeah, so we'll completely solve it with that wilds. Ooh, another new one. Gather um, three, explore town from a single land into a land with two or more invaders. Okay, so we can go this way, right? From a single land into a land with two or more, and that'll deny that build. Cool. Removes an explorer town from a land with two or fewer invaders. We can get rid of this town. All right, so we Ravage, we remove these Strife, and this guy dies. Nothing to build. You always gather low number land first, high number land last, alphabetical order. And then Mountain Wetlands Explore. Okay. Okay. So we're about to hit Terra Level 3, and we can remove two invaders. So... I think we actually just win with this because in target and adjacent land, we can remove something with three or less health. 
There's two cities, so we're gonna win in the fast phase. So as far as this card goes, we're gonna get our four fear, and then we're going to remove this town and uh, actually remove two invaders. So goodbye, explorer. Bam. All this stuff, uh, you know, it's cute, it's fun. I guess we get two fear, remove two explorers. I don't know, gather an explorer in. Um, sweet. And we have our victory with the Radiant and Hollowed Grove. Uh, doesn't really matter what we do. I'll just uh, gain a Major. Let's see if we can find one of these new Nature Incarnate Majors. Um, nope, didn't uh, didn't see any, but Jungle Hungers is totally awesome for us. We'll forget Accelerator Rot. Add a Presence. Uh, let's say we added a Vitality. Gain and boom. Boom, boom, that's gonna be the game. To fear, remove, remove, GG. All right, this is a pretty cool spirit. Um, it's really interesting to see how this incarnate, I never even tried to uh, flip it, and I never really moved it compared to where we, in the first game, played Emberide Behemoth, where I think we flipped the incarnate on like turn three, and we moved it every single turn. So it's very exciting to see how wildly different the same core mechanic can be executed. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and have yourselves a wonderful day.